Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for what is it? June 11th through June 18th. T typically my readings are love readings, so we're just going to keep it at that. If whatever comes out, comes out. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could have happened, could be happening, or maybe in the near future. This is being recorded for July 11th. <laughs> July! Damn it! That came out for a reason. Keep that, you know, I don't know why, but this is for June 11th through the 18th. If this card flips over while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Same with this, otherwise it will be revealed at the end. Keep any negative comments out of the uh, out of the comment feed, please. I don't want to hear any nasty comments about a sign, what they did to you. Keep that shit out of it. I appreciate it. Gratitude. And I know you guys don't really typically do that. You're Capricorn. You're very um, wise. Okay? I understand that. But the cross watchers, you know, I don't know what signs they are. They might... Whatever. So, anyway. Gratitude. That flipped over. Be grateful for all that you have. Remember to say thank you to others, to your higher power. To be grateful for the small things, okay? Gratitude. Even the lessons, even the hard lessons. It's a week of gratitude. Being grateful. This is for Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Remember that this could be vice versa. This could be happening to you or the person that you are dealing with. This is for the sign of Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for this week? Somebody's clinging to the past. Clinging to the past hurt. Clinging to past rejection, perhaps. Not completely healed, therefore they aren't able to come together completely with another person. You could be dealing with somebody who is bitter, angry, and resentful, okay? There's a feeling of um, denial here. Somebody is in denial about perhaps what the past taught them. You know, there's gratitude over here. You know, there was lessons learned from this past experience, and now maybe you're feeling defensive, you know, um, because of your past experiences, you may be on guard, you may be on the defensive. It, af it appears that there is a lack of, of happiness in some arena of your life. You're probably feeling, you're probably not feeling very appreciated at this time, okay? You're probably not feeling very, like you don't have much to celebrate, not very celebratory, okay? Because you're still suffering over something, suffering over the past, whatever's happened, there's been some sort of painful reality that is holding you back from the ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? Because your guard is up. Your guard is up because you've been hurt so badly. 
thing is, is you need to let go of that. You need to let go of the worry. You need to let go of the depression and the anxiety and the paranoia. It's not serving you. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. We have the Nine of Cups and the Star. Those are both wish, for, wish fulfillment cards. There is. There's hope. There's still hope for the future. You know, you need to look at this as a time of inspiration instead of a, a time of um, unhappiness. Somebody is definitely feeling unhappy about what happened in the past where, you know, the suffering that they were put through. And now they're probably unable to let their guard down enough to let somebody else in. But there is, you know, some sort of healing that is going on within you right now. You are healing, so rest assured that this too shall pass. It will pass. You, you're you getting somewhere. You are. Um the Two of Swords tells me that you've blocked your emotions. I can see that you have. You've blocked your emotions because of this past hurt. All right. So let's just get some more cards for you, Capricorn. You know... There's there's some fear and confusion here about this reality, about this new reality. There could be somebody coming into your life very quickly. There's probably, you know, somebody could be entering your life uh, that has a lot of passion inside of them, but you you fear being taken advantage of, you know. You, you do. You have these fears of what they might have up their sleeve. Because somebody may have taken you for some of your money in the past and you don't want that to happen again. You've worked hard. You've worked hard for all that you have, right? You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, as I can see it right now. We also have Pisces here. I do feel like you guys are really quite stable and secure in your home and you know, you're you're afraid to go backwards. I don't want to go backwards by impulsive behavior. So it feels like, you know, there could be somebody coming into your life that seems a little too impulsive for you and you're trying to, you know, see the reality of this situation, okay? If you're with somebody right now, you could be dealing with somebody who's impulsive and weak and, and lacks... Um, lacks strength. And they could lack strength in their own financial... Um, structure and therefore you're like damn I you know this is scary this is scary they're not financially stable and you know I'm not sure that I can even let this person into my life if they're not financially stable so it feels as though there's a lack of confidence in a new beginning with somebody that seems a little flighty okay interesting I think there's a new opportunity coming in for you that could lead to uh, bliss, happiness, uh, togetherness. You could be coming together with somebody at a gathering or meeting up with somebody at some event. Or somebody could just be coming into your life and, and uh, offering you some sort of new beginning but it feels like you you just you're really scared to lose control and you're trying to keep things under control and structured and um stable and secure you you want things stable i see that you want things absolutely stable and i feel like you're you're being very uh, decisive this week. You're being uh, very strong in your decision making, strong in your stance as well. Um, the Seven of Swords reversed is is somebody getting caught lying or getting getting caught doing something. So it feels like you you maybe you're trying to catch somebody in the act. Okay, I'm not sure who this is, but. Um, Maybe maybe that you're dealing with a child or somebody that's younger than you that um, 
is hiding. They're hiding something. They're hiding some sort of the truth about their money situation. And the truth could come out. You're trying to figure it out. That's for damn sure. You know, you're trying to get to the bottom of this. I think you're really, really scared that somebody's going to come in and take what you have worked so hard for. Anyhow, um, or mess it up or cause chaos or whatever. But there is an opportunity for some sort of joining together of forces between you and another person. There's a new love prospect here. There is. The Five of Cups reverse. That's a new prospect. It's like, I feel like you guys are... You probably are beginning to realize the truth of what the past taught you, okay? You're seeing what happened. You are, you're getting it. I get it. I see what happened. I do. Maybe, maybe you're feeling, you know, I, I let it happen. I let it happen. And now you're much stronger for it because I see that you do have a lot of strength. I feel like right now you have a lot of focus and you're trying to do the right thing by another person, but you're really scared. You're really scared to that they are, you know, what, what are they, what I feel, this is say I'm you, I feel like this person is, has a secret. I feel like this person, I feel like this person has, um, they're not telling me something. They're not telling me something. So you, you feel like you're dealing with somebody that's got a secret. And you're wondering what the hell it is. So I wonder what this is, but that's what it looks like to me. I feel as though you have to let go of that mentality. You need to look at this from a new perspective. Okay, you need to stop hanging on to those old wounds that have held you back. Um... There's an opportunity for some fun here, some fun, some, some, com some bliss, some, um, some happiness. And I think that's with a new person that is wanting to um, come together with you, but you are still limiting this person or limiting yourself from opening up, okay? Um, you're stalling. You have this fear of sacrifice. What do I have? What do they want? What do they what What do they want? You know, like that. I know they want something other than just me. You know, I feel like that's what you what you're thinking this week. But I feel like, you know, you need to take this risk. When I see the hangman reversed, I think of the fool. Okay, I do. I do. It kind of looks like the fool card, and the fool is about taking a risk and taking a chance. Uh, to start this, start over, okay, or have this new beginning. So I feel like you guys do have a new beginning that could, that could be really harmonious and happy, you know, um, where two people come together and work together, but you're, you're trying to really uh, be wise on the ifs and the whats and the how and, and keeping things, uh, at bay, you know, keeping things structured and organized, you are probably protecting yourself as well. It's like you're in protection mode. There's protection here and protection here. It's like you're trying to protect yourself and all that you have earned and built along the way, okay? So I feel like, you know, you're, you're trying to figure out someone's motives. What are your motives here? You know, because somebody is probably offering you some sort of fun or happiness or togetherness. And you're like, hmm, I'm not sure. I don't know if I can trust you. So that's what I see. It feels like you don't have confidence in this. This There's a lack of confidence in this, this new beginning, this new endeavor. Okay, there's lack of confidence in it, but I see like you have this this fear of sacrifice. You need to let it go. Remember, I said fears and confusion before with the moon card, and this is there's other fears too. You need to. Well, you know you can't like just let go of the fears, right? They're there for a reason, but you need to try to overlook them. Okay, be strong, and somebody hasn't completely, isn't completely strong enough to just let it go. Okay, but. Whatever this is, it could lead to wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment, wish fulfillment. It could. It could. So just keep that in mind. 
you feel like somebody's got something up their sleeve, and I know that. I know that. And, you know, there's, I feel like there's an opportunity that, that could be missed because of your fears. So keep that, keep that in mind. This person that is probably a little bit younger than you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is trying to offer you something that is genuine, okay? Because the Page of Pentacles is very genuine, very honest, has a lot of integrity, okay? So just keep that in mind. I feel as though somebody is trying to offer you some, this would probably be the Ace of Cups, they're trying to offer you some love or emotional support or something like that and you don't even you're not even really considering it because you're 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 you fear what what they have up their sleeve you you fear financial loss if i let you in what what what's going to cost me what's it going to cost me Therefore, you know, I feel like you, you're, you're, you don't, you don't, you're scared to take that next step. So I need a little bit of advice for Capricorn. I feel like you're dealing with a person that does have integrity, but you're scared to death to let them into your circle. You need to let go of that mentality, that, that idea die. And I know that's hard. I know that's hard, especially when you've been hurt so badly and stabbed so hard. You need to let it go. You need to let that mentality end. Okay? Let that idea end. This person, there's somebody, there's a, there's a new offer. There's a new offer of love. There is. There's an offer of love coming in. And it feels as though... I think it's genuine, but I feel like you're you're really scared of getting hurt again. But I feel like... You have enough strength and wisdom and charisma to make the right call. Okay, I would let this person in. I would. I think it, you know it very well could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn like yourself. Okay, this person is stable. They are secure and they have their own money. Or that's you. So Capricorn, I feel like there is an offer coming in for you, but you are scared to death to take it. And I would say that you should give it a chance. Remember gratitude. Be grateful for the lessons you learned from the past. They taught you something, right? They, break, they gave you the wisdom that you now have. Okay, but that doesn't mean that you have to block your emotions. This is blocked emotions. You have to block your emotions to the point that you can't let anybody else in. You have a new door opening, the nines. I saw that earlier and I was waiting for the moment. You have a new doorway opening. You do. But you have to close the door to the last chapter mentally before you can truly walk through the next door. Okay. Be grateful. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. There is an opportunity for romance if you would think positive about this person. Think positive. So that's what I have, Capricorn. Talk to you later.